Hello, beautiful souls, peace and blessings. How are you today? I am the soul leader for those of you who do not know me. Welcome, welcome. So this is a really quick message. Um, so I turned to this page and I know I recorded this before. Um, I'm not sure if I really went into detail, but it don't matter. It's coming to me again to uh, talk about this because I was about to stop recording for a minute and work on the uh, recordings. Um, that, I, that have been uh, made uh, previously that I need to edit. Um, but this is the uh, last message for the, uh, the night. And um, I'm going to talk to you about the title of this video. And the title of this video is The Prophet, The Fortune Teller, and The Enemy. So let me share this really quick with you. So it was a time in my past 11 years ago where it's the I had a prophet come out of nowhere in the parking lot to at a salon I was working at to uh, give me a prophecy. <laughs> I had a friend who had me go to like this psychic medium, which I shouldn't have done, but that psychic medium was saying the same thing the prophet was saying. Also, my enemies were saying the same things. And also my intuition was saying the same things. And me not, me not being... Uh, having my spiritual eyes i walked right into the lion's den but this is the thing the lord tricked the devil <laughs> the devil was tricking me <laughs> but god gets the glory in this because i have this channel now that can can when the lord told me one day i was going to have a testimony and my testimony ain't even done this is just the beginning like you all will be with me during this um <laughs> I was being warned those things because I was being very disobedient and I've learned from my disobedience. I have truly learned from my disobedience to, to, to trust God and listen to God and keep my heart and my mind aligned at all times. Like, I, I couldn't understand why I was always being attacked in that way. And during that time, I was being attacked. Like, I was, like, I was in physical fights. I was having verbal conflict with people. I had, man, I didn't even know I had that many enemies. Heck, one of my enemies shocked me, which was one of the ones I ended up in a fight with. One of my enemies was my own client. One of my enemies was even the person I was dealing with. A lot of my enemies was right. Oh my goodness, it's so sickening. I'm laughing about it because I know better now. And it's already been revealed and I'm past it. I've um, gotten over all that hurt and stuff like that so I could laugh and smile. I couldn't do this a year ago. It's almost a year that I had this channel. And I couldn't do this a year ago. Like, my eyes were dim. <laughs> I was real chunky. And um, let me say like 11 years ago. Like, I'm even the size I was 11 years ago before I had my kids. This is how I know God is working because the enemy stole something from me for 11 years. The enemy used, because he couldn't attack me how he wanted to, he used people closest to me, right? I'm very aware of this. They still try, but I'm equipped and I'm prepared for it now. <laughs> but, um, like, like, for real, like, even when I made my vision board last year, like I'm saying I wanted to lose weight, and I lost weight without even trying. Some of it was, was stress, honestly, but um, I'm just I'm just so excited to share this story with you because 11 years ago, um, like I told you, 11 years ago, I was, I was walking in my purpose. Didn't know it, but I was walking in my purpose. In 2008, I had wrote down some some manifestations. I didn't know that that's what that was. I, my sister just told me like, hey, whatever you want to do, just write it down, make a plan. I wrote it down, and within two years, it started to manifest. I've always been a person person that when an opportunity presents itself, take it, but only take it if it's the right opportunity. You will know if it's the right opportunity because your heart and mind will align. And when I was in the midst of going after that purpose, the devil threw a wrench in my face. The devil knew that I wanted to be loved so much that um, he used a person. Um, I'm not sure if that person is aware of it now, but I think they are. I'm pretty sure they feel very used now for even 
walking with the devil. They were openly choosing to walk with the devil. I just always pray that they walk away from that. I always pray for that because this is the thing. Some people will choose that, but when they see what really comes with Satan, they wish that they had chose Christ. So that's why I'm saying I always still pray for my enemies so that they can come over to the other side because God does forgive. Okay, but let me get off of that because this is not about the other person or any of the people in my life who may have done something to me that may have hurt me before. I am over it. Um, but let's just, let's let's get into it. It's crazy how even the things that I shouldn't even been tampering with was right in front of my face, even telling me the same thing that even a prophet was telling me. Even my own enemies was partnering up to try to help me. God was speaking to me through so much, but I wasn't. Listen, I was deaf. I was deaf. I was so damn deaf that I got in a fight. And guess how I got in that fight? During that time back then, um, I had already stopped drinking a lot, but I still party. Um, and I was like, um, I was drunk when this, these, that fight broke out. And um, before I even got there, my intuition told me not to go, but I didn't know why. My dumb self just needed to know why. I'm like, I ignored them. I'm like, oh, ain't nothing wrong. I'm just going over my homegirl house. I walked right into the lion's den. I walked right into a place with my enemies. Like, one of my enemies was a client of mine. And my and that client was all in my personal life and all of that. Like, this lady was in my home. And that's where you cross the line when you bring danger to me. I was being blamed for something I ain't had nothing to do with. Something I didn't even say or nothing. I didn't even have the time to. I was in a salon seven days a week. I worked at a different job five days of those weeks. I was committed to what I was doing. And the people that attacked me, there was no room in my life to even have anything to say about them because my attention was...